Hey everyone, welcome back to On the Fence Movie Reviews. I am Adrian. And I'm Rob. Today we are going to be talking about The Hunt. So The Hunt stars uh, Betty Gilpin and Hilary Swank, and it's a story about 12 uh, unsuspecting strangers that wake up in the middle of nowhere, and they soon discover that they are being hunted by a couple of uh, liberal elites, so to speak, I suppose. Quite a few liberal elites. I mean, yeah. So anyway, the film takes off from there, and it becomes a survival film of sorts, and so Rob, let's jump right into it. What did you think of this film? What I really I loved about this film is that you didn't really get any um, kind of slow time. It was all like as soon as this movie starts, you just right into it. It's go, go, go. So very high paced, a lot mm-hmm. of action. Um, and one thing I didn't think I was going to enjoy because uh, if you know the history of this movie um, or, you know, the history of what this movie was supposed to be about, uh, it's kind of political or yeah. actually I should say very political. And, uh, you know, that caused some issues with it coming out and, and other things. But so when I found out this movie was, you know, going to be a political, I was like, ah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of that. But they really don't take a side in this movie. And that made it yeah. more enjoyable for me because it's they just kind of like they take the stereotype of every side and they just kind of make fun of it. And I mean, some people will probably be offended by it and other people will find it rather hilarious. I yeah. found it rather hilarious that they weren't just making fun of me. They were making fun of this person and that person and all the stereotypes in yeah. between. I, I think it depends on, on the type of person that you are. <laughs> like, if you can take a joke or not. Yeah, I yeah, I agree. But no, I, I mean, so that, I, you know, I was expecting it to be kind of like, oh, are they going to bash me over the head with politicalness? And But it wasn't. It was it, it, in, it was, they made fun of it. Yeah. And like you said, if you can take a joke, you'll laugh at this movie. Um, and the... You know, I'm I'm the horror person on yeah. on the show, and the the gory kills, the violence in this movie, uh, was amazing. I really enjoyed it. Um, Adrian, what did you think of this movie? I I will definitely say this, Leo. To your point, it it is pretty much from start to finish action, uh, sprinkled in with a lot of gore yes. and um surprisingly a lot of comedy in there yeah, it yeah. was it was pretty funny at points it is definitely a satire um yeah you know and and I, I know at the top i said you know liberal elites but to what you were saying yeah they 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 go hard at everybody yes they yes, play they into the stereotypes and they they amp it up like you know they're the the so-called liberal stereotypes and the uh right-wing stereotypes and then they go all the way with it and you know and they kind of make fun of everybody and and so it's it, it's a film that kind of has that message about like how you know the information and the internet and and all that how we kind of take information in yeah. and how we process that and what our response is to that and that's more or less what they're trying to get at but right. you know I definitely got to say that the standouts were Hillary Swank and uh, Betty Gilpin uh, Betty Gilpin playing uh, Crystal I believe and. Yeah. Uh, you know, she was really, really, really good in her role as this person who had fought, you know, in so an ex-soldier she fought yes. in Afghanistan and, and, you know, in the Middle East. And so she has experience. She knows what she's doing. She knows how to survive. Well, you get that right off the bat. Like, you like, know, you know, well, this right person away, yeah, yeah, knows that, what that she's first, doing. Our first introduction is is not even her. It's a, it's a different female character. Um, I don't even remember her name because I don't even think they said it. Um, she She wakes up and she looks over and she sees her putting like a safety pin on a leaf in the water and the, and it's, you know, and, and anybody knows anything about like survival and like that, you know, it points, you know, you know, North, I believe. And so then she, right. she's trying to figure out where she's at. And, um, so you get an idea of like, she, she knows how to survive. Right. And, um, she does just like little things, you know, she has like that, that Southern accent and she does like these little things where like kind of with her face. So these little subtle things that she does with her character that makes her character, different from a stereotype character right. that's like oh i'm an ex-soldier and i'm you know i can you know beat up and kill anybody but you know it, i i really enjoyed it so i i you know there's lots to enjoy about this film um but i will say on the negative side for me okay. i know that it is a bit divisive as far as being political okay. and all that i didn't have a problem with that but my problem was is that you know 
being a political satire and trying to have a message, I felt that they struggled a little bit to kind of bring that message home of what they were okay. trying to say. Yeah, I can see like that. you, you kind of got a sense of what they were going for, but they didn't give me enough to once the film was over to think about it, you know, okay. and, and think about like what what is they what are they really trying to say? You know, it's a fun film. It's it's definitely worth a watch, but you know, I think that's. The, the biggest complaint I had about this film. Okay. I mean, uh, I, I can understand what you're saying. Uh, that really didn't bother me too much. One thing, um, uh, and it goes along the spoiler territory, so I won't ruin the movie, but just I feel like they, um, uh, when as an audience member, I feel like they were almost, there were parts in the movie where they were explaining it to me instead of okay. instead of just kind of letting too, me figure yeah, it too out. Too much exposition. And yes. Just getting into like, so, oh, this happened, this happened. Yeah, this so happened. I wasn't really, you know, too much. Uh, I wasn't really a fan of that. But, you know, that's, you know, one thing in this movie that I really enjoyed. So, but that was just, like I said, something small that I was just like, I, I, I would rather have liked to figure it out than to be told like, hey, you know, A, B, C, D. So yeah. just something small. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, so with all that being said, you're going to. Get off the fence and go check this film out, or what are you gonna do? I'm definitely gonna say uh, I'm gonna get off the fence and check this movie out. Uh, if you enjoy, I believe I would say the sat, you know, the political satire. If you enjoy good violence, if you enjoy, uh, it, it is funny, uh, like action, funny, uh, political humor, and violence. If you enjoy all that, rolled into into a ball. Uh, yeah. I believe The Hunt is a movie that you should get off the fence and check out. What about you, Adrian? What do you feel? I actually, I'm going to say, normally I would say get off the fence and go watch this film. But since uh, most uh, theaters are closed. This is true. Um, but, right now. Um, but, but I'm going to go say ahead. if the theaters were still open, I would actually say maybe wait for it to come out on home video. Hold on. Time out, Adrian. You don't have to wait because you don't the have to wait because it's on it VOD now, it dropped on VOD. And so you can go download or rent the film. Yeah. Just hit rent. Check it out. Don't get off the fence. Um, well, you can get off the fence and hit rent. Get off your couch. Get that remote. Hit rent. Um, there you go. I think for me, it's it's good, but I don't know that it was worth kind of running out to the theater, going to check it out. I mean, okay. it, it was it was entertaining, but. There were little flaws for it that, that didn't quite work for me. You know? and, okay. and so, like I said, it was entertaining, but... Are you going to watch the movie again, Adrian? I think I am because... <laughs> I... No, I want to I, okay. I, I I I see how I feel about it on okay. a second viewing. Right. But again, I, I do okay. that with most films, even All films right. that I don't like. I, I, I watch multiple times. So right. just to make sure I, I, I was am just asking a correct question. in my feelings. All right, just asking don't a question. Don't judge me in my, my process. Just asking. But... If I if I'm gonna tell someone who is is probably only gonna watch it once and they're gonna spend, you know, anywhere to around fifteen bucks for a movie ticket, can I put my stamp of approval and say, yeah, go spend fifteen bucks on that? Okay. Probably not. Maybe just okay. rent it. All right. But you know, that's that's my opinion. I'm not saying don't see it. I'm just saying maybe wait. Five dollar Tuesday. Yeah. Exactly. Right. I got you. Wait for the discount. All right. There you go. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching our review of The Hunt. Uh, why don't you comment down below and let us know what you thought of The Hunt. Do you agree with Rob or do you agree with me? Anyways, don't forget to click like, subscribe, share, and also follow us on social media on Instagram at On The Fence Movie Reviews for all that behind-the-scenes content. And remember, we'll catch you on the fence.